Good morning. Today we're going to talk about the Persian literature. So the name Persia came from the ancient province Persis. It is given by the Greek to the entire land occupied by various Iranian tribes. In the year 1935, the government requested the use of the older and correct name Iran, which means the land of the Aryans. Ancient Persia had a literature that is strongly influenced by the Arabic language and the culture of its Arab conquerors. Its classical literature dating back to the 9th century flourished until the 14th century after it ended until the 19th century. Poetry is traditionally the more important literary forms during the 12th century, and probably the most famous poet of Persia during that century is Omar Khayyam. Epic poetry was an indigenous Iranian literary form. Ferdowsi's heroic epic entitled Shanami or Book of Kings was the first and the greatest national epic. In the field of lyric poetry, the best exponents were Sheikh Mosleddin Sadi and Shamsuddin Hafiz. Persian prose includes stories, fables, histories, and manuals of conduct. The earlier prose was characterized by rhyme, but this led to artificiality and thus it declined paving the way of the Western literary. Tehran is the capital and the largest city of Persia. Their monetary unit is called as real. The famous indigenous faith of Persia is known as Minikism and Zoroastrianism. There are four main languages of Persia. First, we have Khwarizmian language, Mazandarani language, Old Azeri language, and lastly, the Persian language. When it comes to arts, Persian is known for their carpet weaving, pottery, mosaic, miniature painting, calligraphy, music textile design, and illustrated manuscripts. The literature of Persia is one of the world's oldest literatures. Classical Persian poetry is always rhymed. Now let's talk about the famous types of Persian poetry. First, we have Gosen folk songs. These are oral traditions and a kind of oral minstrels. Second, we have Kasida or Ode. It's a long poem in monorhyme. It's usually panegyric, didactic, or religious nature. Third, we have Divan. It's a collection of poets' kisals and other verse arranged alphabetically to rhymes. Fourth, we have Ghazal or Ode Lyric. It's a poetic form consisting of rhyming couplet and refrain. It's a poetic expression of both pain, loss, or separation, and the beauty of love, written by Persian mystics and poets. Fifth, we have Masnavi. It's written in rhyming couplets for heroic, romantic, narrative verse. A poem based on independent, internally rhyming lines, followed a matter of 11 or occasionally 10. Next, we have Rubaiyat. It's a poetry style used to describe Persian quatrain rhyming A-A-B-A or A-A-A. It contains only four lines and all lines rhyme except the third line. So here's an example of a Rubaiyat. As we can see, first, second, and fourth line rhymes while the third line does not. Therefore, the given example has the rhyme scheme of A-A-B-A. During the early literature, Sa'ada and Rumi was known as the poetic geniuses of Persia. Hamdullah Mustafi produced a notable works of history, geography, and epic. An example of this is the Book of Victory. Second is the Nazar Udin Tusi. He wrote about logic and philosophy. There are stages of development in Persian short story. First, we have formative period, the growth and the development period, and lastly, the period of diversity. Those are the common highlights of the Persian literature. What can you say about the literature of Persia? Do you find it worth watching? Feel free to share with us your ideas and comment down below. Bye-bye!